Uh, you all know uh, a load in a AC supply can be a resistive load or an inductive load or a capacity one. So, varying uh, these different types of load, the armature reactions has many cases. So, consider the resistive type load. Okay, resistive load, which is a unity power factor load. You all know that. So, steel load as the rotor induces flux in the armature winding. Let this be phi f. Phi f is the field flux. Field flux. And uh, this field flex induces an EMF on the armature and uh, that let it be EF or be E phase okay and okay and uh, this EMF induced on the armature will be 90 degree lagging to the field flex and it will show like, like this like this and there this E phase and this the EMF induced on the armature will drain a current I'll draw a current and that be I I phase armature current in a phase so this armature current will be facing in phase with the induced EMF I'll show right here I phase and uh, this induced armature current will create a armature flex and let be phi a phi a and phi a and it all and it is also like i shown it is also in phase with this uh, armature current so now we can see the waveform of the flex Okay, waveform is like like this, and uh, let it be an north pole here, and let be a south pole here, and this is the armature flex shown here, and uh, from this. This phasor diagram you can see that the field flux is 90 degree leading the armature flux and the phase difference between them is 90 degree so I'll show field flux here right here like this field, the magnitude of field flux will be exactly uh, I mean lower than this armature flux so like this like this like this here here so uh, don't confuse this is the face difference is 90 degree don't confuse with my drawing so see this on the left side of the north pole this both armature flex and uh, field flex oppose but on the right side here see this see this on the right side these two flexes assist and on the left side these two flexes oppose so so the average flex is constant average flex is constant so the flex is not reduced but there is a distortion in the flex distributed distortion so means that the resistive loads does not reduce or increase the, the field flex but there is a distortion in the distribution of flex so this can be called as the you will know cross magnetization cross magnetization well considering an inductive load you will know that the inductive load is a zero lagging load so I mean the lagging power factor and uh, I'll show like this.
so i told you already that uh, the field flex that the field flex induce an e induce an emf e phase in the armature and it gives rise to a current i phase in the armature and it will give to a current uh, sorry flex in the phi a in the armature and here on inductive load this i phase will be 90 degree lagging the e phase in the resistive load this both were in phase but in inductive load i phase lag e phase by 90 degree so the phase of diagram will be like uh, like this this is the e phase and this is the you know phi f but the armature flux will be always in phase with the current so phi a like like this so now you you can see that phi a is exactly 180 degree out of phase with the field flux yes it is and now we can see the flex waves like this like this and uh, phi a so like this and north pole south pole sorry <laughs> and you get my m s and uh, this is phi a no and uh, i will show phi f like this it's 180 degree out of phase like this phi f is just like this phi this is t so this is just like this okay and uh, you can see that they 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 oppose each other in every cycles and then under north pole or south pole they like to oppose each other and uh, as because of the magnitude of the field flex is not uh, much much more than the armature flex the fields cannot be zero so but they oppose each other and the field flex is reduced field flex is reduced and uh, this is known as as demagnetizing effect so when an alternative is on an inductive load uh, the armature reaction results in demagnetizing effect i guess now you all got an idea about the capacitive load as it is a leading power factor load and uh, I'll, I'll explain it too and its phase diagram will be just like this this is the phi f and this is the e phase and what happens the induced current will lose the e phase i mean the induced voltage the current will lose the voltage and by 90 degree you know like that and the uh, current will be like in phase with the field flex and also the armature flex produced is also in phase with the field flex and uh, so now you know, know what will be the result yeah yes you know like this this is the flex and the phi a and uh, phi a sorry with my mistakes and this is phi f you know uh, so so now you can see that uh, in both cycles field flex and uh, armature flex assist each other and uh, it will help to improve the magnetic flex and this is known as the magnetizing effect caused by the armature reaction and uh, that's all about armature reactions in alternator so in resistive load 
the armature reaction results in the distortion of the field flex and uh, in an inductive load the load the inductive load it will result in a demagnetizing effect and which means that the flex is reduced in a capacity load as it has a leading current so it will the field flex and the armature flex assist together and uh, it will improve the magnet and it flex and thank you